Welcome to the famous cement land. Took me quite a few years, but here we are. The way this artist died, it's suspected that there may have been foul play. Maybe someone came in and he got murdered right on his own site. Holy moly. It really is like a theme park. It's like an entire city of just concrete structure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very interesting tree today. I'm still in St. Louis on this little miniature St. Louis trip, but today we're gonna go to a very famous, well-known location. It is called Cement Land. Now what this place is, is like the remains of an old like cement factory, but it comes with a major twist. There was this artist who was taking the remains of this like cement plant and turning it into like some sort of public art spectacle, almost like amusement park kind of deal only he tragically died on site in 2011. Now, even though it was ruled an accident, a lot of people suspect there may have actually been foul play there. The remains of the cement plant and what he was turning it into still remain to this day. And we're gonna go try to get in there, explore it, do some climbing, it'll be great. Only issue is, surprisingly, it looks like the fence around it is pretty well like sealed up and intact. So I didn't see any way through the fence when I drove by. So I'm actually gonna go climb up onto those railroad tracks over there and see if maybe I can get in through some lesser known, lesser seen side. Oh, there's dudes over there. I don't know if they saw me or not, but I don't think it matters. We're gonna follow these tracks and just hope and pray there's a way through whatever fence is to the left of us. Oh wait, what? Look at this. What a stroke of luck. Look at that. And going around the tracks, we just bypassed the fence entirely because this fence is just holding in that active place. Wow, this is sick. We're in now. And there it is over there. Wow. Those buildings are way taller than I thought they were going to be. Welcome to the famous cement land. Look, I can already tell the bottom section of ladder is just gone there. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Dang, man, how sick would it have been to put on a GoPro and climb all the way up there? Look at all the graffiti other people have done it. But then the ladder got completely removed for like the first 50 feet. Look at this place. This is insane. I wonder if this was just always naturally flooded like this or if this is gonna be like some sort of like water-based part of the attraction when the artist behind this was finished with it. I guess we'll just keep following these old vehicle tracks around here. Look at that right there, that's like an old sculpture. Like he was taking this entire like cement plant remains and he was gonna make it into like a work of art. Wow, it looks like a castle over there. Wow, he was really making progress on this. This looks like it's gonna be Tick City. I want to get off this path. How do I get down there already? Oh, all right, here we go. We're finally getting down. We're going to go see some buildings. Yeah, look at this. Came down here, now we're just kind of right in the middle of it all. Got to find a way up there. Got to go climb like the castle looking things. I don't really think there's going to be much of anything in an actual building. The whole site is kind of the attraction. It's just going to be crazy cool to see. Like a place that's half cement plant, half like public art display. That is part of a semi-trailer. Look how carved open it is. All right, this building here in front of us is like the tallest one. It's a huge building. So yeah, the story goes that the way this artist died was by being crushed by a bulldozer or something like that. But what I read up on was the people who I guess found him, or I guess the investigation that was done, found that the injuries he sustained wouldn't have really been done by a bulldozer. So that's why it's suspected that there may have been foul play. Like maybe someone came in and he got murdered right on his own site. All right, let's climb up some places. Look at all the stairways up there. This place like a parkour dude's dream. 
we're just standing in the remains of just a massive cement plant. It's so cool. I think the best way I could go about doing this is putting this camera away and putting on a GoPro. How does that sound? Look at all these rocks that came out of like this hopper right there, I can only assume. And we got this whole other side here. This building is so huge. Hmm. All right, we'll put the GoPro back on when I do more climbing stuff, but otherwise up here I found a flat platform to stand on. Holy moly. Satellite view did not do this place justice, just how huge this building is. This is like the main one, I suppose. Let's look at the view we got out this way. It's like an entire city of just concrete structure. Look, and then there's the, the Mississippi River there, there's St. Louis in the background. This is amazing. Oh. My. God. Look at how high up this is. Oh, that's so much higher than the camera even shows. Do I dare trust this overhanging thing? I really don't. <laughs> not gonna lie. I do not trust that. There's like old cement and dirt and stuff all the way up in the rafters. How does that even happen? Wow. All right. Let's get down from here and we're gonna find another building to go to. We still have so much of this place to see. Whoa. Look at this. This was totally gonna be like a pool of water. We're up that little castle-y portion of it. We just walk along right there, it's gonna be so sick. Like I said, this tub here would definitely have been like a little water display. Look, even the tree had like this little metal grate here. It really is like a theme park. I just hope this metal is strong enough. Just looking around this place is just so amazing looking. Look at this, look at these like wheel display doorway thing he made. Let's see, it came around that way, came down this gravel pathway here. Saw that building wrapped around, saw the giant building. Now, I'm up here on the castle. There is one left I definitely wanna see for sure before I leave and that is uh, the big silos over there, I want to climb those. Man, I've known about this place for years. I remember like four years ago, just doing like Google Maps satellite searches over like St. Louis, I noticed this. And I was like, what on earth is that? I want to go there. Well, took me quite a few years, but here we are. This would be like the parkour playhouse of like people's dreams. Our St. Louis trip is on kind of its down stretch right now. It's, it's winding down. Only really a few left that I'm going to try, so should probably move it on and try to get to some of those silos, either there or there, whichever one's more convenient. Climb up there and then call it a day for the spot. Alright, now maybe it's just because we're at the bottom of a hill, but 
the sets of uh, grain towers or whatever silo towers those were over there look way taller so I'm gonna try to work my way over to those climb them and that'll be the last building we look at here there's a little bridge here going over a, what would have been a waterway we gotta find a way over to this plant over there. I feel like I'm gonna have water in my way anywhere I go though. Yeah, that's just completely soaked with water over there. How am I supposed to get over there? Here we go. This is what I need. Need like a little concrete walkway. Oh, I don't like this. This looks way sketchy. All right. Well, this is gonna beat up my ankles. Oh yeah, felt that. Like inside the cylinders of silos, look at this. Why is it so hard to get around in this one? Whew. It's just another warehouse. Could you even get up into the silos here? Well, I'm over here, let's just go climb up into that one. It's more of an actual, like, tangible building. Should have some ladders and stairways in there. Where are stairs here? What am I missing? There's a building above me, but no way to get there. I bet you stairs got taken out of these things years ago. Maybe all that graffiti's old, or maybe I'm just dumb and can't figure it out, but... Look at this, I just found the stairs. There should have been another portion of them right here but there's not, but they continue up over there. So all I gotta do is climb up here. All right, what are the odds we can make it up here without dying from this probably unsafe scaffolding coming down? There we go, you can't blame me for being dumb anymore. They just took out a portion of the stairs. It would have been pretty helpful. Oh, look at that, we did it. Get a load of this view. Look how dressed up that is, even over there. Even that kind of looks like the top of a castle. This guy really got all the way up here and was still able to like work with stones and stuff, unless the original concrete plant really just looked like that. I don't know, but I'm winded. I've seen about as much as I could see here. I think I've been everywhere except for over there, but that's where the, the trail kind of ended, so I didn't really bother getting over there. Otherwise, I think I went to all the buildings. Look, I'm gonna look through the scaffolding and just see all the way down there. And then you just see how thin this metal that's supporting my life is. It's never comfortable. I'm gonna work my way around until I find that trail again. I didn't realize how far around I went. I have to walk a long ways to get out of here. I gotta go all the way back by this building, all the way back by the other one. This whole exploring thing is a really tiring job when you do it the way I do it. Oh Lord, I finally found it. it. Took me forever to get back to this trail. It's so hard to find. I almost had to hike up just the barren wilderness of this field, uphill. Now there's a train in my way. Finally. Made it back here. Ugh. Man, I'm sore. All right, we gotta make this quick because I know this camera battery is about to die, but hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. That was the historic, well-known, abandoned cement land right outside St. Louis. Pretty cool place. I've been thinking about doing it for years. Yeah, battery died. We'll just end it here. So many years I've thought about coming here if I was ever in St. Louis, and it's cool that I finally did it. So, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in our next St. Louis video.